Hello everyone, it is Sliding Sister here, and today I'm going to be building a horse stable for you guys, um, uh, for a survival world. So, uh, let's go ahead and go into, so here, uh, as you can see, there are, uh, hay storages, and here are some stables. I'm just giving you a little tour so you guys know what you're building. Here's some more stables, some more hay storage areas, more storage for like leads and stuff, more stables, a um, few hay, yeah, and in the middle we have four extra ones, and I put the hay in the middle uh, because I thought that, um, that uh, horses could jump out uh, and yeah so that's why i thought of that uh yeah just like this so uh, i put them in the middle it's pretty smart of me uh and i guess that's kind of it uh and yeah so uh there are plenty of room for your horses your mules your donkeys this is very survival friendly, and I'm really sorry for the, um, for my cold. So, you're going to be needing some logs, some, uh, wood, some oak wood planks, some spruce wood planks, some, uh, glass plates, some torches, some acacia wood planks. And I use acacia wood planks, but you guys can't use any other, um, and fence gates, cobblestone walls, chests, and hay bales. So let's get to building. Uh, so it's kind of like, um, so there are like three spaces of three. Uh, uh, there's the door is three by three, so the horses can go through very um, lightly, like very easy, easily. And you can see there are four spaces of five. And I used uh, spruce logs as the pillars. You can use any other ones. Uh, a very flat roof. And yeah, that's kind of about it. So let's get started. Um, and also, you can use any um, wooden pane, uh, any uh, window planes. And also, I, um, I, uh, I did the wood back a little just to give it a little more 3D dimension and it's like a really cool historical look and all the logs are five high by the way. So uh, why don't we get to building? Um, so yeah. One second, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, we had a little cut in the audio. So we're going to start off uh, with a pillar of five high. Uh, I'm using the spruce logs. You could use any, uh, as I said before. So there's uh, five high. And then we're going to go across three, five high. Three, five high, three, five high. And that's three spaces of three. Now we're gonna go to the five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then, okay. yeah, and then that's gonna be five high as well. And then we're gonna do another three spaces of three. So let's go ahead and add those in. That's three spaces of three. So uh, now let's go ahead to the side. It doesn't really matter which one. So uh, it should look like that. That's the front side. And then we're gonna go to this side. It doesn't matter. And um, well, there's gonna be four spaces of five. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Five high. One, two, three, four, five. Five high. One, two, three, four, five. And um, all of these 
are uh like there are five spaces in between not five blocks so it's gonna be four spaces in between there's five spaces in between oh sorry <laughs> now we're gonna go three again it's exactly like the front three spaces of three five high This is probably the longest video I have recorded. Um, I'm actually commentating right now uh, after I've recorded the footage. It's kind of weird and hard to do. So, yeah. Right now what I'm doing, like, the screen what you're watching on is, like, before. And right now I'm commentating, like, after. So, same side. We're going to go five. Four spaces of five. Five high fillers, not pillars, fillers, <laughs> fillers, pillars. So yeah, and then that's five. So that is your pillar layout. Uh, we're gonna fill in uh, the spaces in between with oak wood planks, but you can use any other. I just like that, and I get to come back in one second. Bye guys. Okay, I'm back. And, um, so I filled in all the spaces. I've done one back because I said that we're going to do a 3D dimension kind of thing. And if you do follow, do not follow the same uh, things that I did. It's going to be kind of weird. And here, um, on the sides, there's four spaces of five. And I added three in the middle of each one. And I didn't add windows at the back, but you guys can if you wanted to. Uh, and that's the same side as the side that I just showed you. And as you can see, at the corners, I didn't fill in any windows. And also, um, and if, but if you can, you can want to, and you can. Uh, and yeah, there's a three by three corridor for the horses that might need it. So you're probably wondering, why does this look so weird it's like kind of weird here like i mean yeah so now we're gonna add in some pillars just to make it a little more um it looks like like uh, like the inside looks more um filled and it's gonna be um uh more like uh how do you say this like more uh how am i supposed to say it? um you're gonna like uh we're gonna like uh over at the front you can uh make it look like it's actually a window because it's gonna be kind of weird if the glass pane is hanging off like and there's no block next to it supporting it so it's gonna be kind of weird and now we're gonna use glass panes uh i'm using white stained glass panes uh you could use any other color or you could use glass blocks but i'm just using white stained glass panes i think it really fits the style uh and it makes it kind of modern as well so yeah let's just quickly fill this in Sorry for the silence. Uh, I had to go do something. Uh, so, yeah. I filled in the glass panes. That's how it looks right now. Now we're going to go ahead and do the roof. Um, and, yeah. So, let's go ahead and do the roof. And Actually, uh, I'm going to add in the torches. I'm actually going to add in the torches first. So, yeah. Uh. So, actually, let's do the roof first. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to use a, a slab of your choice of the block uh, coordinating. And that's just going to go, like, overhanging, like, in between the pillars. So, yeah.
So we're almost done here. Oops, made a little mistake here. Thank you so much for watching this. I just really uh, like uh, that you're supporting me. And thank you so much. So now we're going to use the plank block of the coordinating slab uh, type of wood, I guess. And we're just going to um, go around and fill in the whole thing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. As you can see, I filled in the whole thing. And yes, I used a command because I was too lazy to do anything. So, yeah. So, now let's go ahead and add in some torches around the building just to light it up. And um, this might, this isn't designed for a city or like something like very modern. It's just like a simple survival build so don't take it that seriously okay so that's all the good that's all the torches i'm gonna add um but let's go ahead and add in some torches while we're at it inside the building i'm gonna add it on top of every single um log pillar whatever you want to call it uh, just to make it pretty bright in here. It's still kind of dark, even though I added all the torches in. But there's, um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in the floor. I'm using acacia wood planks, but you can use any other type of wood. It does not really matter. I just think it fits the style and the um yeah so let's go i'm gonna leave one second okay i am back and i filled in the whole thing and again i actually used a command and uh yeah so let's go ahead and start putting the stables we're gonna start the middle stables like in the middle so, from this fence gate, not the fence gate that it's on, uh, the block in front of it. Uh, so, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Place the block there. Um, 2, right there. And then I, uh, we're going to add a slab on top. And add um, two pairs of two spruce wood logs. Next, we're really gonna go across three, add, and then we're gonna go across three, and then add, and then go across three, and then add, and and then uh, I'm gonna oh wait no 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 yeah no uh sorry about that uh we're gonna go across three here. Uh, and this is the middle, and it doesn't really match up, so I decided to add this, like, spruce thing. Add some torches, because it's kind of dark. Um, go three, skip. Go, th uh, no, no, no. Wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go across three. Uh, that's too high. Uh, and then three again. So there we go. Those are the four stables. Let's just go ahead and add in the gates. It's just the layout of the middle stables. Okay, so now to separate them, we're going to add some cobblestone walls. And we're going to add them like in the middle of the spruce wood logs. Uh, the spruce wood planks and the logs. Nice cross shape. And we just, uh, we're just gonna add some torches on all the spruce wood logs, just to make it a little bit brighter. Now, for more support, let's go ahead and add um, in some slabs. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the slabs out and we're gonna go across 
the cobblestone walls um just so the horses don't jump out okay so now let's go ahead and add in the hay we're gonna put that in the middle because um uh the horses so the horses don't want to jump out and oh uh, actually this is supposed to be a block of wood not slop sorry <coughs> excuse me sorry about that okay so those are the middle stables let's go ahead and actually do the stables um get your cobblestone walls and go out two from that pillar and go three out from the next pillar that's gonna not actually not be a stables that's gonna be like a hay storage area as i showed you in the beginning so you can just add however much hay you can then go out three from that and we're actually gonna build the stables now and then three from that pillar and then we're gonna add fence gates and we could add to that more later for more protection again go out three three from that pillar and two fence gates in the middle Okay, so uh, we're gonna add another storage area. And we're gonna skip uh, like these three, three blocks. We're just gonna go straight to the five. Um, you can see in the middle. So uh, let's go have three, three from there and three out from there. And that's gonna be two fence gates in the middle. Another stable. Anyway, and then skip one. This is gonna be kind of weird. Three, three, and then from that, no, 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 it's from there, that pillar. And we're gonna go out three, and then two fence gates. Three, three, three fence gates. Three, three fence gates. And then this is gonna be another hay storage area. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in some more protection. Uh, I'm gonna add some spruce slabs on the cobblestone walls just in case the horses or donkeys or mules come out. Oh, uh, I forgot to add it from the hay and that hay storage area. And we're gonna continue adding the slabs, oops, uh, the slabs on the cobblestone walls. Here we go. Uh, and we're almost done. Actually, no, just kidding. Um, here, we have to do this. Uh, oops, that's a block. And again, this is survival friendly, so I suggest you do this. And now we're almost done. So, uh, we're just gonna add in some storage, some extra storage here. We're gonna add in three chests, um, one slab and another, yeah, one slab there and one slab there. And it doesn't really matter how you arrange this. So one's up there and then the block there. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what, uh, arrange. It doesn't really matter where you arrange the chests. Um, you can arrange them uh, any uh, part you can. And that's about it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Um, 
and I think I'll see you guys later. Make sure to turn on post notifications because I will be making another video this afternoon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.